hello guys today I'm going to make a video on how to create a safe moon like transfer function where every transaction deducts a fee of 10% save moon itself is a quite complex software in terms of its code and other things and it involves fee distribution among the holders automatic burning and automatic liquidity pooling and stuff like that since the principle and logic of funds transfer will remain the same in this tutorial we will be transferring 5% of the transaction fee to the owner and 5% will be burned so let's get started but before we start I want to encourage all the audience to watch the complete video before asking any question because a lot of times people ask same question again and again without even watching the video which has explained the very same thing they are asking about so without further ado let's get started alright let's go to remix ID and create a project and I will name it SFL means safe moon like dot SOL so now let's start writing our contract by writing the compiler version we are going to use I'm going to use 8 0.8.0 version and let's uh, start writing our smart contract I will name it SFL like so now our smart contract is created now since this is an ERC20 token I would inherit from ERC20 Now in order to inherit it from ERC20 I need to import ERC20 files here in our project. So I am going to import it from the URL on GitHub like so. So this is the URL on GitHub to import the SOL file ERC20 SOL and I will put that link in the description if you want to import it directly from github and use it the second thing I want to import is safe math which will be used to uh, do arithmetics with our token and do calculations like so so now I have imported the uh, required packages or required files uh, let's tell our contract that I'm going to use safe math for our calculations like so now since we want to deduct 10% fees and 5% of will, will go to the uh, owner of the token and next 5% will be burnt automatically so let's declare some variables to store our uh, tax fees and the burn fees so u int tax fee is equal to 5 and next variable will be burn <coughs> excuse me burn fee is equal to 5% or 5 so now what we can do is we can exclude our owner or the token owner to pay the fees every time he or she performs a transaction so I'm going ahead and create a mapping to store all the wallet addresses which are not liable to pay a fee while they are performing a transaction on our token so like so 
now let's call our constructor function to initiate our token like so erc20 it will take two parameters the token name and the token symbol now i will give the name of fs sfl and the symbol of sfl safe moon like <coughs> like so now i will call mint fun function to create our tokens so i'm going to create tokens on our sender address and the quantity will be let's say 1000 multiply by 10 and since this is 18 decimal uh, I will power with by 18 like so now the admin or the owner would be like owner is equal to message dot sender sender what I'm doing here is I'm taking the message sender address and making it the owner right now since I want to uh, exclude the owner from paying tax I can uh, do that by putting it in our mapping of ex exclude from tax like so owner and make it true now our constructor is ready our token is being created and now let's create our transfer function our transfer function will take two parameters the address of the recipient recipient and the amount of tokens we want to send or transfer amount like so uh, now we want to make our function public and I want to tell uh, the contact that this is overrided function because we are uh, going to use transfer function from the this file from ERC20 token file and override it or change it, its functionality within our function and it returns a boolean value on its success now when someone call this function first of all we see if uh, the caller or the person who is transferring the money or token from his wallet is uh, admin or is owner or not so let's check it if message dot sender is excluded from then we will simply go ahead and transfer the money as is so we will call the transfer function from the inherited file which is ERC20 token like so In other case, if the uh, sender is not the owner, then we will lose some other stuff. Like so. And 
you int honor amount the amount which will go to honor will be like amount multiply by the tax fee and divided by 100 like so now firstly we will burn the 5% by calling the burn function from the SOL uh, we have inherited form like so like so then we will transfer by calling the transfer function from our inherited file and if it is processed successfully let's return it true return true okay it seems there is a problem let's see okay here we go returns boolean all right i have fixed the error i have to refresh the browser several times uh, i don't know why remix is behaving like that anyways uh, our contract is ready to deploy so let's deploy it here we go our contract is deployed and total supply is of 1000 our symbol is sfl this address is the owner and name of the token is SFL so uh, let's check the balance of the owner this is the address of owner so balance of the owner is 1000 since we are minting on the address of the owner which is message dot sender so let's transfer some money to another address I am cop going to copy it and let's transfer it and I'm going to transfer um, let's open a way converter and I want to send let's say 500 so let's transfer him 500 token our transaction is successful so now let's see our total supply now since <coughs> this is from the owner of the token I am the owner of the token and so all the tokens are transferred I mean 50 500 tokens are transferred to the recipient address but if I don't make the uh, owner excluded from the uh, tax then it will not it will deduct the fees from the owner itself so let's comment this out and deploy the contract again So now total supply is this much and I'm going to transfer money to this address how much 
I want to transfer 500 token so let's firstly check the balance of the owner so balance of the owner is $1,000 or 1,000 tokens so let's say I have sent 500 to this address let's transact our transaction is successful now let's check the total supply now you can see the total supply is reduced to the to 950 or like so let's copy it and convert it it is 9750 so it is uh, detecting 5% uh, 5% of the total supply is burnt so and let's see the balance of the owner it is this much so balance of the owner is 550 however the owner has transferred 500 from 1000 total but his balance is 550 so that means the 5% goes to the owner's wallet and 5% burnt down so this is the similar functionality which uh, save moon holds now there is a question how do we transfer 5% to the all holders instead of the owner well the logic will remain the same you can keep track of every owner in an array and once you deduct the balance you can uh, iterate over the array and transfer balance to the all the addresses with that array so i hope you uh, like this video thanks for watching thank you